Hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures in Wildcraft, where we have quite the surprise for all of you. I would like all of you to meet May, our new tigress, as one of the newest animals that have been added into Wildcraft, the tiger, who is a tiger dripped in gold. Just look at how beautiful she is, and look at her home! It is the jungle den, and it is surrounded with beautiful new leaves. I mean, look at, oh, look at over here. Look at over here. We've got all sorts of trees. We have got some coconut and palm trees. I love it. I love it. Her whole den is just this gigantic cave wrapped in moss covered tree roots. How can I not fall completely, utterly in love with that? We have even got these gigantic palms, like the palmentos over here. Look at these. Oh my word. I love it. I love it. I love it. But you guys probably love the fact that we have finally caught up on the latest Wildcraft update and we are back Back with our Starry Skies ancestors, seeing what adventures we may get up to here in Wildcraft. And it has been a while since we have been here in Wildcraft, but there is a good reason for that, my friends. You see, the Starry Skies ancestors were working on this newest creation we have, the beautiful tiger. She had to start out as a little tiger cub, created from a falling star that was filled with all sorts of gold running through its veins. And it slowly but surely turned into a little tiger cub, the moon bats watching over her as she began to develop inside of this cave. And then we ended up having this tiger emerge. It took her quite a while. She had to learn how to do a little bit of hunting. A lot of the fish and frogs along the stream were the main sources of her food. But now May is ready to join us as a new member of the Starry Skies Ancestors. And if you guys have no clue who we're talking about, definitely check out our playlist because you have a lot of great story to catch up on and a lot of fantastic lore. There's all sorts of different creatures. There's all sorts of different groups of pets that have special abilities and skills. And all of these different creatures, be it the crocodiles, the new tiger, the horses, the wolves, the foxes, the phoenixes, they all work together under the starry skies. Who are starting to create brand new creatures to be born. Because as you guys know, in the past, we used to make it so the Starry Skies ancestors would be based around wolves who used to live in our wolf quest or our... Oh, look at how beautiful she is. <gasps> There's mushrooms in here! Oh my gosh, May, that is just amazing! I love it, I love it, I love it! But as you guys know, in the past, we used to have all of the new creatures born into Wildcraft have been from our wolf quest adventures. And they were kind of like the spiritual rebirth in the spiritual realm where they would live and gain strength until they were reborn into more wolf quest adventures. But the Starry Skies ancestors have begun to grow and expand their influence far beyond the wolf pack that they used to be based around. And now they are creating entirely new spirits in this land to start exploring new places they have never been, like the life of a tiger in the new jungle. So yes, our beautiful May is not based off of any kind of creature that we've ever had before. She is a brand new spirit, a new soul added in to the sparkling stars of the Starry Sky's ancestors story. And I'm very excited to see where she is going to take us, especially because this is a whole new world that we have never been in. This is the latest den that arrived with, oh, look at that cool tree. I love the way that the vines are crisscrossing over the top. This is a new den that arrived with the latest Wildcraft update and everything looks amazing. I really am so excited to step paw for the first time into the jungle world as well. But from May's story, since she is a new soul, she is still learning pretty much everything about the world and what may be from the moon bats who are here giving her all of the prophecies, all of the advice, all of the encouragement and guidance that the Starry Skies ancestors are sending through them to her, which is quite useful. Uh, and they are encouraging her to go and begin to explore this new world and everything she experiences will only help the Starry Skies ancestors to gain strength. 
And she has actually, now that she has reached adulthood and is ready to explore the wild world, been given her very first quest. So our first quest from the Starry Skies Ancestors is going to be to go out into the jungle world and to see, oh, look at the way the palm trees are crisscrossing at the entrance, that is so cool. And to see one of each of the different creatures who rule that realm. One of each of the different creatures that we will have to fight against to claim our territory and to expand the influence of the starry skies. And as for May herself, I think she is quite eager to go hunting and quite eager to explore her new strength. Now that she is an adult, she has this beautiful coat and to see what kind of unique skills she may have. Born from a golden falling star from the powerful sc starry skies realm, I really would love to see what her paw prints, perhaps laced with gold, will end up leading her to. Because uh, she is gold touched and we've never had a creature quite like her and she's never had any history or any past life. So everything she does will be a new experience. But alright, I think she's confident enough to go do this. The bats may have their own opinion and they may be somewhat nervous for her, but we're going to try to explore. We're going to, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, is it storming? It's storming, that's so cool. But we're gonna try to find one of each of the different creatures that could live here in the jungle and see what influence we could spread. And once we find one of each of the different creatures that live here, then she will actually get an ancestor blessing and we will be able to open up a chest. So let's start with what this scooty thing on the ground is. It's a sloth, but it is also a level 20 sloth. I mean, as a sloth, is it really going to chase us? Let's try. All right. All right, what the heck, sloth? <laughs> All right. I think this is completely unfair that a sloth that a sloth can actually chase us. Are you kidding me? It is moving a lot faster than a sloth has any right to. But we might be, the moon bats are actually helping us out. Check this out. The moon bats are gonna do it. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the sloths are actually extremely strong and we really need to watch out. But as long as we keep moving, then it looks like the moon bats will actually be able to eat <laughs> to help us to defeat the sloth and spread our influence here instead. Yes! Oh my gosh, thank you, moon bats! Okay, so the moon bats were really strong and they were able to exert the influence of the Starry Skies pack and knock down these sloths. I can't believe they were so strong. They were just sloths. <laughs> but at least we have gone ahead and we have already leveled up, so let's see. All right, we're gonna gain all of the strength and speed and power that we currently can. May is only level three, but hopefully with time passing, she will be able to become even stronger. There we go. How exciting though, and how unknown. Almost all of our, <gasps> an elephant, are you kidding me? And is this a red panda? It is indeed a red panda. And again, it is so strong, and May has not even learned how to use her roar yet. She has not yet found her voice, because she is such a new spirit. And she has no past life to draw on. Yay! But there we go. But the, clearly the experience of the Starry Skies ancestors is helping us out. Let's see if we can actually level up the moon bats. Because this is a new world for them as well, and a whole new place for them to explore too. All right, let's see what we've got here. Moon bats, are you able to? Nope, moon bats cannot level up just yet, but they are level 34 and May is only level like four. So again, she's she's a brand new cub, more or less, learning a lot. And that elephant looks quite large. So let's actually go after this red panda really quickly. But she's a brand new cub learning more about the world. I think she really loves these coats on these pandas, and I think that she's really thinking that they would be a fine thing to bring back to her den. So perhaps if she's really into the gold color they have. Oh jeez! Okay, apparently now we can already- Ah, there's another red panda attacking us! Oh my gosh, there's two more! Alright. We can roar! Oh, thank goodness. There we go. And we can now stun. All right, keep going, moon bats. 
And we could find a mate if we really wanted to, I guess, because we're already level 5. But there's actually a special quest that May has related to finding a mate that we'll have to talk about in just a minute. Because it's not going to happen right now. I think what's going to happen is her first dream is going to be revealing a very special secret about who her mate should potentially be. And we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, let's take care of this red panda though. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to be a little harder to find and defeat one of each of the different creatures that lives here than I thought it would be. Especially if the red pandas are just going to like drop from the sky and start attacking us, which is fine. Clearly they have their influence in this territory as well. Can we take out... Oh, I don't know about this. One elephant, one Asian elephant is something. But a whole herd of them? I think that this may be the part where discretion may serve us better. And we should carry on until we can find... We'll slip into the shadows and through the bushes. And let us look for a creature that is not surrounded by many, many, many of its friends. Alright, here's another red panda. And it looks like there's something new and different down by the river as well. Alright. There you go, May! She's finally starting to become strong enough that she can go ahead and do a bunch of attacking, which is excellent. There we go. Alright, and I think that's actually another tiger! And no, we can't, we can't get a mate yet. We have some important things that we need to do. Uh, but you know what, because we'll, I think we have to get this out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and we will, we will bond with this tiger, but only in the sense that it has secrets to tell us about what it means to be amongst the tiger clan living in this land. Also, how big is our world here? Oh, look at how cool the world is. There's trees everywhere. Oh, heck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You go up? Okay, this is going to be really cool. We're, we'll want to turn around and we'll want to go up in a little bit because that is just way too cool. But all right, since May is apparently going to be um, hmm, unable to complete the task I thought she would be able to do today of doing exploring and being able to discover each one of each of the different animals who hold territory and sway here, whose power we will begin to take so that we can nourish the starry sky's ancestors instead. Let's go ahead and we will forge an alliance, just temporarily, with this tiger down here who will tell us some of the secrets about what May's future mate may be. And there's actually uh, something very, very, very special in mind that I have for May's mate. But we're going to come down here and we're going to... Uh, we're going to have the moon bats help us out and we're going to consider this to be kind of like a political alliance more than anything. All right, so this is just a temporary pyro. Oh my gosh. All right. Temporary male tiger who has come to join us and he will tell us some of the secrets that we need about May's future mate. Something that she dreamed of even when she was a falling star, that there was a spirit locked away somewhere around here that she needs to find. All right. So, okay. Okay. All right. I know. I know. We've. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> It's like, oh, by the way, I guess you have never ever had a mate in Wildcraft before. Well, you don't have to rub in the fact that our rank is super low because I didn't know about ranks for Donkey Days. But we're going to get there, okay? Uh, Alright. Well, with, with Pyro here to help guide us as we continue to explore this new land, I'm sure we will unravel the secrets of the tigers even sooner. However, I think one of the first bits of advice that Pyro is going to give us is to not attack the elephants on our own. And in exchange, let us settle down and we will rest for just a moment. And even though we are not tired, the stars are high in the sky, and we will go ahead and we will receive our ancestor blessings of the day. As you guys know, at the end of each Wildcraft adventure, we get ancestor blessings from the Starry Skies ancestors to help all of the different creatures we have roaming the spirit realm, gathering the energy for them. And we're going to draw one chest for now. Not two, because Pyro is technically not, well, could he get a temporary? I don't know, I gotta think about that. Could he get a temporary bonus? 
Oh, and I think we just achieved the achievement. Here we go. Yay! Uh, let's see. We're just gonna drop for May, because this is just a brief alliance that we have with Pyro. And May's ancestor blessing is strength and perhaps thoughts about young cubs. And what, what could the hat mean? We always try to read these like some sort of prophecy or like tea leaves or tarot cards or something like that, where you're trying to figure out like, what could this mean? And a hat, huh? Maybe a nod to the alliance that we have with this new tiger. And thankfully, we gathered up some more acorns, and we'll talk about why those acorns are oh so very important next time. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for young May, a new soul born from a golden shooting star who shall begin to explore this new realm. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, oh, like the adventures of possibly being able to take out those elephants, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.